Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a historical battle, the Battle of Cannae between Carthage and Rome. Now of course this is probably the greatest battle in ancient history. Many people um, took Hannibal's tactics in this battle, his strategy, and tried to model their armies and their battle strategy off of him. It's one of my favourite battles in ancient history and I've read quite a bit about it and I also like the Battle of the River Trebia that was also one of my favourite battles between Hannibal and Tiberius Sempronius Longus uh, which took place in I think it was 218 BC but this battle takes place in 216 BC and the big things which happened in the aftermath of this battle was that Capua defected to Carthage unfortunately though after this battle it was all more or less downhill for Carthage. They weren't able to um, build on their victory. And it's also it's that famous quote. I can't remember who said it, but um, I think it was one of uh, Hannibal's generals that said it and said that um, God has gifted you the ability to 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 win a battle, but but not how to use it. It's something like that. That's probably wrong, but it's along those lines. But anyway, as you can see. Um, this is a pre-recorded battle which I've done. It's on hard difficulty. The reason why I'm playing on hard difficulty is that the Heir of Carthage played this battle on hard difficulty and lost. And I wanted to see if I could do better. I'm not going to spoil the result for you. I'm just going to talk over it and let you know what I was thinking. So as you can see, the cavalry are engaging on either flank at the moment. I'm sending them all in to battle against the Roman Equites. I've grouped up my missile troops in one uh, solid line in the front line. My cavalry, unfortunately I lose this cavalry here, I I was a bit rash, I sent them in and unfortunately they all die. I've also moved my main infantry line into one big line there. The reason for this is that I have played this battle uh, a couple of times and I just to test out a few tactics and one of the things I noticed was that it's much better to have them all in one big block like so because when you sp start spreading troops around the place, spreading your infantry, the Romans make short work of you. The important thing in this battle is the numbers game. And we'll see what happens now as the battle progresses. So, at the moment it's just a cavalry engagement. The Roman army, like the juggernaut that it is, is slowly marching away towards me. And their cavalry has been defeated on the right flank. I'm grouping up my Libyan infantry here. At least I think, did I group them up? Yeah, I did group them up here. That's what I'm doing. And also, I'm going to take this opportunity. Let me know in the comments section what your favourite battle in ancient history was. It doesn't have to be ancient history. It can actually be uh, medieval history or modern history. Any of your favourite battles, let me know in the comments section. And this is where I grouped them up into one big solid line. Gone for a nice long line as well. Tried to stretch the Romans as best as I can. I'm using my cavalry to run them down, take out as many of them as I can, take out their equites, use my missile cavalry on their equites as well, and the left flank is almost secure now as well against the Roman equites. I've actually didn't group that one up very well with with the rest of their units. And I got for a nice long line now with with some hoplite units. Trying to do this so I can stretch the Romans, try to outflank them, send all my men behind their lines. Well not not all my men, but my cavalry behind their lines. Baal Hamon be praised. Carthage is one of my favourite factions in history. Hannibal's one of my favourite generals, that's probably why. Like I previously mentioned, the Battle of River Trebia is one of my favourite battles. I love how he taunted the Romans to come across the river and then he sent his his general Mago to who was in command of the cavalry attachment to to hide in a in a bush or the other side of the battlefield and eventually he was able to outflank them and draw them into a trap. One of the things he does brilliantly, Hannibal. Good old Hannibal. <laughs> and now we bring my cavalry behind the Roman flank. My Libyan hoplites are in a nice long line on the on my right flank, on the Roman left flank. And we're going to use my Libyan cavalry to skirmish the Roman's flank. My Balearic slingers are also doing some skirmishing at the moment. 
as you can see we've outflanked and now we're going to go for the Roman general for the Elegatus attack the Elegatus and try to take him down just reforming my battle line so I haven't moved my, my main army that much to be honest at this stage I'm happy just to camp let the Romans come to me let them overexert themselves I now put all my special abilities on phalanx and shield wall because we're fighting a defensive battle where they come to me rather than me go to them although I am going to them with my cavalry but it's all for a good a good purpose which you'll see in a few moments time just just get them all out as you can see look at the Roman line they're very easily uh, distracted by my cavalry and they completely fold in on themselves and I could have used this opportunity to to push up and attack but you know, there's no need I, I'm happy just to skirmish at the moment just to to cause chaos and as the famous quote goes in in Game of Thrones by Littlefinger chaos isn't a pit chaos is a ladder and that's what I think of this, this uh, particular battle the more chaos that I can cause with my cavalry the easier the battle actually is so we're going for the Legatus. Legatus only has 25 remaining out of 40 we're doing a pretty good job on him although we have to be careful with the cavalry because they have plenty of men nearby which can attack me but they've actually folded in and they've actually gone back on themselves now and now Varro is dead that's what the message was there and I'd say that was a job well done and by taking Varro out early before they've even got to my main infantry line um, it means that they will suffer the morale penalty which will make the battle slightly easier it means they'll, they're more likely to break than previously without the general. I've actually moved my my skirmishes forward a little bit just to try to creep a few shots in which I'll start to do in a few seconds time <laughs> and it's quite funny to see uh, three or four cavalry units causing this much chaos. If, if, if this was real life and not just a video game then I think the Romans would just ignore them and push forward because that was their way of fighting. It's quite funny to see the message coming up saying that the Romans are pressing the centre hard when they're actually going back on themselves as well. But oh well. And as you can see down in the bottom corner here we we are actually surrounding the Atriari units. One against three, it doesn't look good for them does it? So able to pick them off one by one. Think of a sniper rifle, that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. Just pick them off, taking out the Legatus, taking out, trying to take out a unit of Triari. And uh, my main bat line hasn't been involved in the battle yet. Legatus is only down to 16 but the, of course Varro is dead. And this is where the Romans start to push towards me now. But the Triari again decimated and are only down to 81 uh, units. My cavalry is starting to waver and the Legatus is gone so there we go and we have one cavalry unit behind their line remaining unfortunately in this battle I don't know if it's the same for you guys but whenever I fought this battle I've always lost my my cavalry but let me know in the comments if you can do this battle with every single cavalry unit intact at the end of the battle because I'd like to see that because uh, I've, ne I've never been able to do it The Triari, look, we're pulling one of the Triari units back from the main Roman infantry. They're trying to reform at the moment, so I'm, I'm being a bit ambitious by pushing my my skirmishers this far away from the main line. But we're going to focus their attack on the Hastati unit there. And so far, it's been a very easy job for my for my infantry. Hastati, there we go, 89 remaining, getting completely decimated by my slingers. Getting plenty of kills, no doubt. And Hannibal can sit on his horse and have a cup of tea while all this unfolds. Don't think I'd be that relaxed if I was a battlefield commander, though. <laughs> Probably are instances of uh, generals just laying back on their horse, having a having a cigar. <laughs> Arm armchair general, that's me. And they've they've kind of got order now. The Romans, you can see they they're all advancing as one one big iron fist going straight for my face. My cavalry is almost gone. In fact, they are wavering. 
they'll soon break. We're actually going to charge this unit, which wasn't good because I did think they were not facing me, but they were. So I quickly pulled them out, <laughs> realizing the mistake that I made. And for those who are new to my channel, I do make loads and loads of mistakes. But, uh, you know, it's the fun of the game. Make mistakes, learn from them, make more mistakes. It's kind of how I play Total War. So we're forming back up into Shield Wall and into a Phalanx. And we're going to get my Slingers behind the Phalanx. And two more Triari units are now chasing my Cavalry behind the lines, which is good for me. The less units involved in the main battle, the better for me, because Roman troops, as you probably well know, are some of the best uh, troops in the game. As far as ability goes, morale and all that kind of stuff, so you want to try your best to try to break them as early as possible and try to outnumber them if possible as well. This is where they start to hit my main, my main line. And I don't think, well it probably is possible but I don't know if it is possible to do a proper battle of Kanai and outflank the enemy like like Hannibal did in real life because he had his best troops in the front and he actually fought the battle on foot so this isn't historically accurate of course because Hannibal's actually on a horse but in real life he actually fought on foot in the battle he stayed in the middle in the center of his army and he put his best troops on the center and he gradually retreated them backwards and the Romans fell for the trap and forced themselves in inward to the Carthaginian line and that cr created the envelopment basically the Romans pushed through because they were eager it's how they fought they fought on the front foot as you can see I've outnumbered the Romans on this flank and we can now charge into the Hastati units there and yeah uh, basically his cavalry which we saw at the start of this battle which, on, which were on both flanks they actually won on both flanks and did what I did where they went around behind the enemy so he was able to outflank them fairly easily Whereas on this, in this battle, I'm only really, I've only really secured the right flank at the moment. Get all my missiles to attack the Triari. It's going fairly well now, as you can see, we're starting to win the numbers game. As we attack the Triari. Just, just try to engage every unit now. Raise the banner as well to give me a morale boost. As a couple more Roman soldiers start to waver. I think I get actually get Hannibal involved in this battle at some stage. Just trying to remember. So we attack the Hastati with my, my main troops in the centre there. And we outflank them at every possibility. So we attack the Triari there. And we go three units remaining, attack the Principes there. Down to one. Control A, select them all and attack and there we are. Victory in this historical battle. I do hope you've all enjoyed this battle. Let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of the battle and let me know what your favourite historical battle is. So I've been Dragonheart, I will leave you all with the results screen. Until next time, goodbye.